Yo, what's going on? It's Keith, the Black Quarterback Series coming to you guys with another podcast style video. Um, we're going to be here for a minute. I got a lot to say, so let's get into it. So if you don't know me, my name is Keith. So I do Black Quarterback Series videos. Normally, throughout the regular season, I do formatted videos. I wouldn't call it theatric, but something like that. Um, and then as far as breaking news and, you know, and all that good stuff. So playlist for last season will be left at the end of this uh so let's get into it so we're going to talk about the biggest thing that happened for us this week or, or the nfl in general is kyler murray getting a five-year five-year 230.5 million dollar deal 160 million guaranteed uh making kyler murray the second highest played quarterback in the league i think i think a second to only i uh, got patrick mahomes so what does this mean well this means that our guy Lamar should either be second, he should either be the first or second highest paid quarterback because he should get at least 50 million. He should start at 50 million. That should be his baseline. Now, if you want to give up a little bit of money, then so be it. But he should start at 50 million. Now, I think Lamar should give up some money so he can go get a receiver, but I wouldn't be mad if he took the whole money. I'm never mad at players for taking all the money that they can afford or taking all the money that they they can get so that never that never really bothers me so i'm very surprised that they got uh murray on this type of contract now the contract that they got him on is gonna look really really good in two three years when justin herbert signed his contract when lamar signs his contract when burrow signs his contract um Josh Allen just got a huge deal when Josh Allen re-ups. Like, so it's going to look really, really good on the surface. But that's a lot of money to pay an injury-prone guy. Now, I love it. Trust me, he's one of our guys. I love it. I def I'm defending him to death. But that's a lot of money to be paying a guy who looks like an MVP and then gets hurt towards the end of, at the end of every season. Like, granted, they were 10-6, blah, 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 and all that, and all that good stuff. But the fact that they paid him that much lets me know that they're serious. And they want to keep him. They want to keep him. They kept him. Um, I'm not I'm not mad at the contract at all. So, uh, shout out to him. Um, and the only thing I really have to say about the Cardinals is you, you guys better stay healthy. You guys better stay healthy. Stay healthy. If you guys can stay healthy... I don't think they can beat the Rams, but they can definitely make it interesting at the bottom of the of the NFC. Um, because I think the NFC, it's going to be, because there are a lot of terrible, there are a lot of terrible division in the NFC. Brady's division, he's probably going to win that one. Aaron Rodgers' division is not very good. He's probably going to win that one by default. Um, and then the NFC, the NFC West is one of the toughest divisions in football. You're talking about the 49ers, the Rams, them, and um, the team Russell Wilson just came from, Seattle. It's not as bad as it used to be, but it's still really, really good. Um, so speaking of the NFC West, um, let's talk about Jimmy G. So Jimmy G uh, has been allowed has been allowed uh, by the 49ers for his agent to acquire about trade packages. The same thing they did with Deshaun, where Deshaun was able to go meet with a lot of players and they were able to facilitate a trade to get Deshaun to Cleveland. So what does this mean? Well, this means that the second year guy from North Dakota State, Trey Lance, Trey Lance is now the official starter in uh, San Francisco. Now we knew that, we knew he was gonna be the official starter. That's not necessarily anything to be like, Oh, wow, this is breaking news. We knew that, but we we didn't know when. Jimmy G here was coming off an injury earlier this season. Well, he's coming off a surgery earlier this season. Um, excuse me. Um, this offseason. And we knew he was possibly going to be traded. But um, two things I would like to say about that. Where can Jimmy G go where he's going to have that much talent? And is Trey Lance that guy? Because from what I saw last year, he's not that guy. Um... He could be like, he wasn't ready. He didn't play a lot of football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just like Justin Fields, you now you saw flashes of Justin Fields uh, last year. You you saw a couple flashes. But just like Justin Fields, I'm not sure Trey Lance is ready. Um, I was pining for Justin Fields to get, to get the starting spot, and I was wrong for that. 
because he should have had some more time to groom because he was not ready. But I don't think Trey Lance is ready either, and it's going to be rough. And that team is built to win. Now, I'm not saying trade Trey Lance and go with Jimmy G, but there was no there was no need to hurry up and trade Jimmy G. I think I just play Jimmy G. Um, I play Jimmy G and just not resign it. So not resign it. Now, that's the old way of doing it. Aaron Rodgers said, Tom Brady said, Lamar would have said, but I, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's not that Jimmy G is bad, but Jimmy G is not really good either. But it's like, do so you want to put in the second year guy who didn't look very good? So I, I don't envy the 49ers position and what they got going on there. So uh, more news to come on that when he's traded and everything. I'll definitely make a video about it because, you know, it affects us in the league worldwide but my quick my quick prediction is i think that he will be going to atlanta i think he might go to atlanta i don't know why but i've been thinking i talked about that with my boys i think i'm gonna go to atlanta so uh speaking of atlanta and that nfc south division uh let's talk about the saints so the saints have a new head coach returning quarterback and michael thomas should be back healthy next year hopefully i think they got some contract disputes they got to deal with him so do I think they can make noise in the playoffs? I think they can make noise in the playoffs. Nobody's really talking about them, and I'm kind of happy about that. Um, I think they can make some noise. They got a decent defense still. They got a decent offense. You know, there are still pieces of that Sean Payton, Drew Brees era there. Um, so I don't think I made a prediction on them, but if I had to make a prediction, I possibly could probably see them going 9-8. and eight. Actually, if... Let's just say, for instance, you know, knock on wood, that Tom Brady gets hurt. They could possibly win the division. They could possibly win the division. And with as bad as the NFC is, they could possibly sneak into the playoffs with a high seed. Because all you really need is a decent quarterback, and you can make um, you can make the playoffs in the NFC. Look at all the NFC teams. All of them had good quarterbacks. And, that you know, that's dull. But, like, when you look at the NFC compared to the AFC, there's not as many dogs in the NFC as there is the AFC, so. Um, that that's really that's really really something to think about. So I just want to show the Saints a little love. We don't talk about the Saints much on the channel because of the injury to what to Winston, and so our Deshaun watch. I might create a graphic for that. So our Deshaun watch. No news, no news for Deshaun yet. Uh, they still haven't said it, but Deshaun's team did did say that if they get sued a whole year, oh, they're gonna sue. If he has to sit a whole year, which I don't think is a good idea. I think they should just take it and fight it and try to get it to eight, nine games and then move on from there. So, um, but it is also, it is also heard that they're preparing for Deshaun to be gone eight, nine games. That would essentially have him um, mid season that he would be back mid season, which is what I always thought. I thought he would miss the first two months of the season. I always thought he would be there around that time. So, um, more news to come. Stay tuned on the channel. Keep your notifications up and everything. And if you like this style of video, let me know. Um, subscribe. Like all the youtube -y things. Tell me. Give me some topics that you guys want me to talk about. And I'll be sure to talk about them next week. So, uh, the last topic. The last topic of the day. Uh, Lamar Jackson. So, shout out to Sports Guy Matt. I reference him all the time. Um, I'm going to leave his Instagram link in the description. Um, all credit goes to him for this graphic. So, if you look at this graphic, it shows you what Kyler Murray has done and what Lamar Jackson has done. Um, one is being paid, one is being paid for over $46 million, and the other one hasn't been paid yet. One is an MVP, the other one is injury prone. One is like a two, three time pro bowler, uh, then made it to the second round of the playoffs. The other one has yet to make any huge noise in the playoffs. So, for anybody who thinks that Lamar Jackson does not deserve fifty million, I proceed. To, I, I will show you this graphic that my guy, sports guy Matt made, um, because this graphic, this graphic really tells us everything that we need to know. So, Lamar, Lamar should be getting paid fifty million at some point. That's that should be breaking news next week, or at least forty eight million. He's Lamar. By the end of this offseason, Lamar should be the second highest paid quarterback or the first paid. Guess time will tell. So that's all I got for you guys. A uh, little longer than I wanted it to be, but I kind of had some stuff I wanted to get out. 
um didn't didn't really make didn't really make a video last week so uh enjoy you guys sunday try to stay cool and i'm out